program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association. Carlos Nelson with the Kansas City Business Association. And today we have a new business uh, over in KCK, uh, Brown Sugar. And we have uh, one of the owners uh, with us today. Who do we have here? Yes, good afternoon. This is Ostia Lights Rashid, and I am one of the co-owners of Brown Sugar Chicken and Donuts in Kansas City, Kansas. Hey, hey, uh, sister, tell our audience a little bit about uh, your 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 place and what you serve, and how did you get into uh, the restaurant business? Yes, so Brown Sugar is a chicken and donut spot. Um, my brother and I wanted to open up a chicken restaurant and kind of wanted to differentiate ourselves from the other ones. And I told him, you know, how can we do that? And one of the things was opening up earlier. And so what, how do you bring on a, a concept of a chicken restaurant that's open in the morning? Um, so you bring in donuts. We've seen chicken and biscuits. We've seen chicken and waffles. So a different spin would be chicken and donuts. And people come very early for donuts. Um, so it's not just the chicken restaurant, but, you know, having that concept. Uh, so we have uh, a variety of things. We have our famous chicken and donut sandwich, of course. But in the afternoon, we have wings and tenders. Um, and then we have a very popular item called the Wyandotte Loaded Fries. And that has become one of our top sellers. Uh, so it's and what not is just that? A... Tell the audience what that what that look uh, uh, looks like, tastes like, and how do you fix that? Yes, yes. So what that is is a bed of fries, taco meat. You can either do chicken or beef, ground chicken or ground beef, and then it is uh, topped with a queso cheese sauce, a homemade pico de gallo, and then a cilantro sour cream, and. Mm. Uh, I'm yeah. ready right now. Hey, sis, yeah. I'm ready right now. And it's, it's very filling. So some people you uh, buy it as an appetizer and share it, or it can definitely be a meal. All right. Uh, and what's your brother's name? That's your that's your uh, partner in the restaurant? Yes. His like name is... Partner in crime. Partner yeah. in the, <laughs> and um, trying to uh, navigate this economic situation that we have. Uh, as a as an entrepreneur and uh, as a part of the diaspora here, uh, how has it been for you uh, to receive uh, the proper financial uh, help from the institutions that are out here, or did you even need that? Well, um, two things. So we did apply for it in the very beginning. Uh, we were denied because we weren't open long enough. Uh, we had just opened in December, so I think it was six months to a year that you had to be an established business. Um, thankfully, we were not in desperate need of it. It definitely would have helped, but um, we were we closed down the, uh, about two weeks into the pandemic. We, you know, the numbers weren't making sense, so we did close down a few of our workers. We, you know, continued. Um, having them employed and other things. Other ones had to move on. Some people did collect unemployment. Um, two months later, thankfully, like I said, because we have a, another business next door that was helping with the rent and stuff like that. So, you know, it was a twofold thing, um, but we're still here. Yeah, you had to try to uh, put a size nine in a size six shoe. Right, so, right, right. So. so that you can make some things happen. Right. Uh, so uh do you make your donuts on 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 location or do you buy donuts and then uh actually we make all of our cake donuts in-house uh we have a guy that used to work for lamar's for about 13 years oh, and oh, uh, now you hitting them hitting them <laughs> between the eyes baby girl <laughs> uh so no no competition we all we all doing our own thing you know um so yeah, we have we we make our in-house uh, cake donuts. We do buy some of our raised products from a local um, another local business in Wyandotte. Um, but yeah, and our desserts are all made in-house as well. My brother-in-law does our carrot cake, pound cake, and cheesecake. Um, you so sell, do you sell by the slice, or can 
can someone come and get a whole cake order Both. a whole cake pre-order? Both. Yeah, you have to pre-order, um, but we also do sell by the slice. Excellent. What would you say is the best? Uh, what is it uh, in your cuisine that you like the best? Personally? So when it comes to when it comes to our donuts, our brown sugar cinnamon crumb is definitely uh, my favorite donut. You won't see it in any other donut shop. And then when it comes to the food, uh, the chicken wings tossed and the brown sugar blazing sauce. And of course, what the wine that fries. Brown sugar blazing. Oh, girl, don't hurt nobody. <laughs> a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of spicy. All right, all right. And yeah. so how long have you been open uh, all together? Uh, so going on eight months now. We opened beginning of December. Um, like I said, we had a little break in between, but uh, we reopened June 16th, and, and we're still going strong. What kind of beverages are you serving over there? Uh, so my mother makes a sweet tea. She has a raspberry, peach, and a, and a, a regular sweet tea that we do. Um, then just um, lemonades, uh, Coke products. But yeah, okay. definitely want to try the house-made tea. All right. You know, that's why I mentioned because in uh, I'm from New York, per se, and I've been here a long, long time. But a lot of... So are my uh, parents. All, all right. A lot of businesses like yours in New York, they always have a special drink or something mm -hmm. that is made there on the premises, along right. with the, the, the regular products, uh, uh, beverages that the, the big brand names yeah well maybe it is a new york thing maybe that's why she pushed to have that well all right so uh tell our audience where you're located what your hours are and uh, invite them on out to to come and uh test your cuisine yes so we are on 30 where our address is 3708 state avenue and that's in kansas city kansas right in the crossing of 38th street and state avenue across the street from mcdonald's and advanced auto parts uh in the town center plaza and right now we are closed monday or sunday and monday but we do plan on opening back up on sunday in the next two weeks and then the hours are tuesday through saturday from 8 a.m to six o'clock uh, we will be having some longer hours but just right now with COVID and everything on those are our, our hours Got to work economic things that are going to work economically for you. Let's take a look at some of the, the products that you uh, are selling and uh, we'll keep it moving. We're back now. Uh, off camera, we talked a little bit about some of the other things that you have going on at the uh, uh, restaurant. Tell our audience a little bit about the, the, the art pieces that uh, decorate the walls. Yes, so we have three local artists from Black Space Black Art. Um, you can come in, um, definitely just come and look to, and, and get a feel and just enjoy it. But also you can purchase it as well. Um, and it's very important to support local businesses as well and, you know, get a piece that you know no one else has. Uh, is it, uh, what else is going on over there? Tell me this. Uh, do you have meeting space where I want to come there and 
I'm, Cascade is a little small company and we want to give you some business. Uh, and uh, we want to have like four or five of our employees come. Um, well, right, now, right now with COVID, um, you know, happening, right. we don't have dine-in. We do have tables and chairs outside and we have a nice awning. And I've seen lots of people, you know, come sit down, um, you know, and stay a while, even two, three hours and just enjoy being outside. So that is a, a, definitely an option. But in-house, not at this time, unfortunately. All right. T tell me this. What, what's happening uh, with, do you sell like dozen donuts, half dozen donuts, the different, the different, you got any turnovers, anything over there? We have apple fritters, but we definitely do um, apple fritters. dozens of donuts. Uh, we actually had the opportunity before COVID hit to do 122 dozen donuts for the Wyandotte School District for their teacher appreciation. So that was over 1,400 donuts. Excellent. Who's making them apple fritters? That's all. That's what I'm concerned with. All oh, through yeah. college, <laughs> I ate that, and uh, you say Lamar's donut. They make the best, Lamar's makes the best apple fritters that I've had in a long time. Uh, are y'all making the apple fritters there on the premises or what? What's going on with that? Um, that is also an item that we get from our local baker. Um, oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How large are they? You know, I'm greedy. What can oh, I they're bigger than the size of my hand. That's for sure. Oh, 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 oh yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. um, well, but and if you're a pound cake guy, definitely have the pound cake for you. Best pound cake you've had. Uh-oh. See, you, you got me ready to crank the, the, the whip up and yes, move sir. on over there. I told I you about to my boy, you uh, Gary Wilson, over there at Wilson's Pizza. Yes. Uh, I'm just so proud of you uh, and your brother taking on the challenge to try to improve your economic position as well as uh you an example to uh a lot of young people hey we can do this we got yeah. one foot one foot uh uh you got the, the 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 longest journey begins with the first step and mm -hmm. the road to success is always under construction and it uh, seemed like you've already had a couple of ups and downs and what have you, and you're, na you're navigating that. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, we're, we're hoping to work with you in some form or fashion with our Kansas City Business Association. Uh, it's primarily an African-American association, and we're trying to deal with the issues that are uh, confronting our small black businesses. And it's more like when you when I talk to you about them loans and everything, it's more like a lot of that stuff and the paperwork that they have you fill out is like they don't want you to get the loan. They don't right, want you right, to right. Uh, it's a deterrent. Mm -hmm. and, the loopholes uh, they put you through. Mm -hmm. right, right. And then you put all that effort in that and then they come up with some faulty reason why they, they, they can't. It, when if you if you've been in business for a year and what have you and you're doing all right you might not need no bank it's like right. they want to give you money when you don't need the money right 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 you know and so for our audience it's very important that you support black businesses mm -hmm. especially especially black businesses that uh are servicing your community and serving it well right so on closing uh is anything that you would have to say to your customers prospective clients and uh the overall kansas city viewership well i definitely um want to first off say thank you i mean we wouldn't be here without our clientele and without the support of our community um we we were we made it to the finalist of the uh kc people's choice award of Blessed back owned restaurant in KCK. Oh, and you didn't lost tell me that. Pizza. Yeah, we lost the Wilson's Pizza, but we oh. were close. Oh, oh, we, made oh, it, right. we made it right to the end. Um, but with that said, you know, like a, you know, I, like I said, I, I thank the community, and you know, we have to circulate our dollar to see change within our community, and that's 
the most simplest way you can put it. We cannot keep demanding others to make change for ourselves if we don't make the change. And this is how you make the change. You circle it the dollar. When you look at other communities like the Jewish community, how many times does the dollar circulate before it goes outside the community? You know, and this is how we grow. And this is how we're going to make it. And this is how we're going to make change. And this is how we're going to better ourselves. So we can't be the, our hardest critic. Yes, we have, to, we have to be on point when it comes to business. But don't be so hard on your brother and sister at the same time. There has to be a balance. Um, and yeah. Hey, hey sister, it, it was a real plum pleasing pleasure. I'm borrowing that from one of my other interview with <laughs> Mr. Jim Watts. He's always talking about plum pleasing pleasure. And, and it was to have you on. And as we always say here at Cascade Media Group, when you invest in your community, mm -hmm. you're really just investing in yourself. Right. Good night. Bye.